Hey you guys, it is Stephanie coming to you with another video. This video today is going to be just a little different. It is going to be kind of introducing me in a new light. So the news is I am part of Macy's Style Crew. Super dope opportunity. Um, I am here basically to let you know what I am loving at Macy's. Um, some of the things I'm purchasing, um, how it fits, what size you should wear, all that good stuff. So I'm going to be showing you some outfits. Um, this series is going to be filmed a little bit differently. Um, I'm going to show each of the items in their own individual light. Um, and then I'm going to have a collective video on my YouTube channel showing everything. So just want to say thank you for checking in and... Hope you enjoy the things that I got. Okay, so today I'm going to show you a really, really cute suit. If you're thinking, a suit? Girl, half of us are in quarantine, half of us are working from home, which is true. But things are starting to open up outside. Um, some people are taking advantage of the situation and are starting to run their errands and go out and try to at least meet for coffee or I know a lot of people are opening up their patios, restaurants are opening up their patios, or whatever the case may be. But who says you don't have to look fly while you're doing that? So this suit that I'm going to show you is not meant for the office. It is meant to, sh to show out, basically, period, point blank. So the brand is Danielle Bernstein. Um, it is such a cute suit. It's white with black window pain lines uh, it has covered button details on the cuff area and it doesn't have any buttons actually i'm lying it does have two buttons it does have two buttons in the front and it also has two flat pockets um they are sewn up but of course you can undo the stitching to make them functional i don't typically put things in my suit pockets but i'm just saying maybe you're that girl there you go. <laughs> um, it's very nice. It's not super tailored. So if you're looking for a tailored look, like something that's like, shoo, this is not it. This has a slight oversized feeling, not being too boyfriend, but like in the, maybe we don't call it a girlfriend fit. We're going to call this a girlfriend fit. Um, but anyway, like I said, it's extremely cute. And when I, the reason why I said it wasn't for work, and when I say work, I mean traditional corporate type jobs, is because they're shorts, and I thought they were so cute. They have a stretchy panel in the back to give you a little bit of wiggle room on how, you know, the fit is. Because I know some people have to dress for their hips, and they might have a slight, slightly smaller waist, so that does help. And it has a hidden tab closure with a button inside of it, so there's two hooks with the button inside to keep the front very flat, like a more of a flat panel, keep it flush to keep it from looking too bulky. Um, I know high-waisted and gatherings are in when it comes to silhouettes of things, but some people feel more comfortable with a flatter front. Um, but it is so cute. It does have belt loops if you want to have um, a belt with it. It's totally up to you. Uh, I'm just going to pair this with a black tank top. And some cute little shoes. Um, let me show you the shoes real quick. Actually, I won't show you the shoes. That's a whole nother video. Whole nother video. So just stay tuned. I'm going to try on this cute little suit for you. And yeah. Okay, you guys. I want to show you the shorts on their own. Like I said, it's a very flat front. Um, a very flattering silhouette. Because as you can see, it just skims over the body. And it has a cuff. So it just comes away just a little bit. So there's not too much bunching in between the thighs or anything like that. Um, the length is very decent. I really like that. And like I said, the back, because of the way that 
the band is in the back. It doesn't look like it's elastic. It just gives you the, you know what I mean? Gives you that luxury without the old school elastic band that they would put in pants. So I just thought they were really cute. Um, that's really cute. Like I said, this is just a plain old everyday tank top I pulled. It's Cynthia Rowley. I pulled it out of my stash. And let's put the jacket on. Okay, you guys. So here is the whole suit with the jacket on. It is just so cute. What do you think? I like it. It's just, it's really adorable. Now, I have a trouble spot with my body. So all my curvy girls who have this issues, these issues, let me know. I have heavy arms. I almost have to buy everything for the size of my arms. Even when I slim down in the middle portion of my body, the arms are always the thing that catches it. So these arms, when I say they just fit, they just fit. But when I say I have a heavy arm, girl, it's a heavy arm. So if you want me to, if you have any questions on how big my arms are, I will gladly answer that in the comments. Um, but really dope, really cute. So I am going to take this and style it two ways for you. Um, something a little bit more out running errands and want to be cute and something a little bit more, okay, let's have a cute little dinner. So just hold on one tight, hold on one tight, Lord Jesus, hold on tight and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. So what I did to elevate this outfit was I added a little heel. Um, it's not a huge heel, but these heels are from bar three. Um, it's a raffia, white raffia base with a wooden ball on the bottom. They're really cute. I'll insert a picture of me modeling the heels below. And then I added my Gucci Marmont um, mini camera bag. This bag comes in handy all the time. It's little for when you just don't want to do too much, but you know what I mean? It just gives you that cute designer edge. I constantly wear a crossbody. I never was a big crossbody girl until I got, um, start getting into it like this, maybe this year. Um, just sometimes you just want to go out without feeling like you're carrying much. So, but I just thought this bag was so cute with it. Um, it just looks classy pulled together. Like you're about to just go walk into a casual meeting. Now, you know, I said, of course, you couldn't wear this to the standard corporate America, but this suit would be bomb if you work in a really, really creative environment. I just think it's just dope. Like, you walk in, it is what it is. You can you can express yourself in any way as long as you look decent. Because with this, you're covered up for the most part. All you're showing is leg. And the leg is even, like I said, they're not long shorts, but at least they're not tight fitting they're not ripped it's very pulled together chic and crisp which is the epitome of style right now so yeah let me know what you think Okay, so I'm going to dress down the outfit just a little bit, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So, this is a little bit more dressed down. This is, I'm going to the airport. This is, I'm going to run errands, grab coffee, get some work done at Starbucks. Um, this is just like the toned down version. Um, so, what I did was I rolled up the sleeves a little bit, gave it a little push up. Um, I know the style trick is to push your sleeves up, but for me, that never works. It never stays up. So I just stick with the roll up method. Um, to make this whole vibe really casual and laid back, I added some Rebecca Minkoff white sneakers. Um, I feel like they're just easy every day. They have the chunky heel that's really in trend. Um, the chunky sole, I'll say. But um, really cute. I actually got these. Um, they were new, but they were off Poshmark. I digress. And I just added a bag with a clear bag. I didn't put anything in it, but I did it crossbody style. So it just looks casual. Like I'm just, you know, just chilling. Just like, hey, what's going on? What are we going to do? What's the next move? Um, and of course, mirrored sunglasses make everything just look way more edgier and like careless. Like, hey, you know, I'm here. What's next? So anyway, let me know what you think about me styling it down.
Okay, you guys, so that's it for this suit. Um, it was separate, so I meant to explain that. Um, and I will put the sizing and everything in the description box for it. So let me know down below what you think about this suit. And can't wait to see you on the next item. Hey guys, it's your girl Stephanie coming to you with another piece from Macy's. Yes, once again, I am a part of the Macy's Style Crew. So I am here to share with you my Macy's finds. And I just want to know what you think. Will you buy it? Will you not? All that good stuff. So here is the piece that I'm featuring in this video. It is another piece by Danielle Bernstein. I am really, really, really liking this collection. And she just re um, she just launched another collection. And I'm just like, Jesus Christ, somebody take my wallet and the cards in it and throw it somewhere where I can't get to it. Nobody else can. And Lord Jesus, somebody disable all my autofill just on my phone and my laptop so I can't just hit the autofill and buy stuff in Jesus Christ. Amen. Baby girl, this is cute. <laughs> this is a classic button-up shirt, but it's not classic. There's nothing classic about it. So, I love the fact that it is a classic button-up shirt. It has the princess seeming to make sure you have a tailored fit, but it features really cute little puff sleeves and it actually has a little puff feature right here so it doesn't fall flat on your shoulders. Um, it's in, you can't really see it. It's done really well, so it's hidden with the pleating. And it is a bodysuit, which is dope. Um, for those of you who care, it is a thong bodysuit. So if thongs are not something you can deal with, I suggest don't get this suit. But if you wear it over a regular pair of underwear, it should not bother you as long as it's in your size. Um, this is a size 20W, which is, I believe, all the sizes I got in this particular brand. Um, I got 3X. Let's see. I did size up. Yeah, so anything that fits, I'm a 20W so far. Um, anything that has a 1X, 2X, 3X tag on it or label on it, I am probably a 3X in the arm part for the simple fact, like I said, I have big arms, bigger than usual, probably bigger than the regular standard size 2X. So if you are really heavy in the arm area, please pay attention to the silhouette of the item that you're buying because if, it if it's lined or structured, you might have an issue in the arm area. But because this is a puff sleeve, it is a little bit more generous. So I got a 20W, which is my normal size. So I'm going to style this up with you, for you, real quick. I can't talk today. <laughs> And we will see what you think. Okay, you guys, I'm back with the bodysuit on. Okay, there is one little small update. I did mention that this was more of a thong bodysuit body on the bottom portion of it. It's not that much of a thong. It does taper in, but there is some coverage on your derriere if that is important to you so like i said if you're wearing the correct size you should be okay it doesn't feel like it's bunching up um, i choose to wear it over regular underwear because that's just me i'm more comfortable that way um that being said so it gives you a lot of tuck in room so the top of the bodysuit is about right here on me um and you can adjust it depending on what you're going for um, like I said, the size will make a difference. If you did get a size larger, um, you might get a little bit more room in the tummy area. But I will say it should give you a little bit more long um, length in the torso area. Um, I paired this cute bicep. Y'all, I really love this bicep. Like, I am looking in the mirror feeling myself like, yes, baby, you're cute. You pull it together, you rich. <laughs> oh, Lord, today has been a day, so just... Bear with my antics. Anyway, um, so I paired it with um, a belt, statement belt. Uh, I think the, the brown just anchors the outfit. And I literally just matched all my accessories. It's really not something I do all the time. But I have figured out, especially in my adult, adult life, because I'm not an adult. I'm an adult, adult. Just saying. <laughs> that it helps when you do have 
mini pod collections of accessories that just work really well together. So I end up wearing, like I said, this belt, um, Gucci belt buckle, but I got my own belt because, you know, Gucci does not always make things for the thickums of it all, of the world. Like, they just, we're not even going to go into that. Okay, okay. And I got these mules from Target. Show you what they look like. Um, they're from Who What Wear. They're from last year. I purchased them, um... Also, Poshmark, you might hear that in some of my other videos because I love Poshmark. I sell there and I buy there. Um, but these are cute. Sometimes you can find things that you missed out. Have you ever went and bought something or wanted to buy something and you, you know, you stopped yourself from checking out and then it's sold out and you're like, oh my God, when is it going to restock? Will they even email me if it restocks? So that being said, you can find some of the things you've missed past seasons. And I remember seeing these shoes, I want to say last year or last fall and i think i just skipped out on them but now I'm like okay they work in my wardrobe so i got them so i've got those shoes from poshmark um the cognac colors are really pretty this is from i want to say just fab you know what no 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 no. i got this from another boutique type online store i want to say it was yoings it's an asian company so you might not have heard of it but honey i shop everywhere i don't discriminate but I thought it was really cute um, just to throw on. I love the tassel. And it really has that, it's not an exact, but it has that Bottega ben Veneta. Lord, I can't talk today. Jesus help me. <laughs> Bottega Veneta um, look to it. So, you know, it's just a really cute clutch just to throw on. So, let me know what you think about the outfit. Um, another thing I wanted to mention, I'm going to toss this to the side, um, about wearing bodysuits and feeling like your body isn't meant for them. Here's a style tip. Now, as you can see, I am not a perfect hourglass. Um, I'm going into the, I have, I have a wave, um, I have a glow worm shape sometimes, especially at this particular size, because I do vary in size, but at this point of my weight, I am a little bit more wavy. I do come out in the hips, but then it doesn't stay in. It comes out a little bit and goes in. Anyway, for a long time, I would not wear a bodysuit because I felt like when you tuck in your bodysuit into a form-fitting pair of pants, you know, you, my figure shows. And right, right now, I'm not even phased by it. Um, but I will say, if this is an issue you have, I would suggest getting a pair of Spanx or something that really, it doesn't have to be Spanx, but a shapewear that has the reinforcement in this area because that can minimize the extra lumps and bumps that you have and smooth you out so you don't feel, you know... Oh my God, I have a tummy. Like, I have a tummy. You can't hide my tummy. But I still feel like I feel, I look put together and chic with this outfit on. Um, another thing you could do is tuck this into a flared skirt. That'd be really cute. You know what I mean? So, I mean, you got your, it, this really is nice and tailored to your body. So, if you put the skirt on and it flares out, you miss all this in the middle. Um, another thing you could do is maybe find a paper bag pair of pants. Um... I haven't tried it on with that, but if I feel like that's an outfit that I can recreate, I would definitely shoot that at a later time. But paper bag, uh, a paper bag fit might work well because it comes a little higher and it usually flares out from where the belt is. Or you think about a wide leg pair of pants. Um, you have to try many things to see what really works for your body. And you do have to have a level of acceptance in yourself um, so you can pull off or so you can wear the clothes and the clothes don't wear you. So like I said, I feel comfortable in this. I mean, if you don't like it, you don't like it. That's totally up to you as far as the people in the surrounding areas. People. People are people. People are allowed to have their opinions. But for me, I feel like I still look cute and pulled together. Um, yeah. So let me know what you think about this bodysuit. It's super dope. I, I see myself wearing this for a minute. I just think it's really cute. It's a staple piece that I think just works well 
with a good classic wardrobe. I mean, you can even like throw on some jeans with big rips in it, throw on some stilettos, um, a belt bag, a chain belt, you know, something to just jazz up if you have, if you want a little bit more of a street style. But I think this is cute, this is chic, and yeah. So just let me know what you think in the comments. And till the next video, see you later. Hello, you guys. It's your girl, Stephanie, coming to you with another Macy Style Crew video. Okay, so what I want to show you today is like extremely cute. It is a piece from Inc., otherwise known as International Concepts or INC. Um, this is a brand that is, ex that is exclusive to Macy's. Um, I haven't shopped this brand in about a decade. I am not lying. That ought to tell you my age. But... Um, they really have some dope pieces out there. Um, this piece is a like a duster slash trench, or you can call it an overcoat. Um, it is so cute. It's satin, and it has this tie-dye-esque print on it. It is gorgeous. It has like slate purples, greens, grays, whites, a little bit of per like a little dark, um, what do you call it, eggplant purple in there. It is so cute. Um, and I love the fact that it's a really soft watercolor zen print, perfect for summer. Um, I would say this is really cute if you work in an office where you can have like a nice top coat over maybe an all cream outfit, maybe some slacks, some heels, and a cream um, blouse underneath it. Or you can wear this over jeans or whatnot. It has so many options. It features a tab sleeve, which is really cute i love 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 that detail um and it rolls up but you can also roll it down if you would like to that's totally up to you um it's done very well it has a waist tie and it's a three-quarter length and it has pockets we love things with pockets if you follow me you love things with pockets okay okay so this particular item, I'm going to give you a disclosure. Um, I don't know if you, I don't even know what order I'm going to post these videos in, but if you are, if you follow me at any point, you know I, I always tell you I have large arms, very large arms, compared to the rest of my body. Um, that being said, I have to always buy things according to my arms. This is a little snug in the arms, but I'm going to try this on and style it for you so you'll know how it would look on so this is not a perfect fit on me but i just wanted you to see it i didn't want to send it back without seeing it it is worth taking a look at if you need feel free to message me if you need any particular details about this like if you need me to measure these arms i'll do that for you no problem if you want to get an accurate length on what it you know what it what it measures from here to the bottom i'll do that for you if you want me to lay it flat and measure it across so you know what circumference you're dealing with no problem just let me know i will do it but this is really cute very luxe it's not lined in the back but it's double lined in the front which gives it just that je ne sais quoi of quality that we look for in garments um yeah so let me try this on pair it with a few things and i'll be right back Okay, you guys, I'm back. So this is the trench. It is so cute. I wonder, I need to like really investigate and look at the seaming because I would definitely take this to a tailor and see if they can let the lining out on the arms. That might help my case, but as you can see, it is a little snug. Um, and it might give upon wearing. That happens with garments, but I just really think it's cute. Um, so I elected to style it with the belt just hanging. Um, if you prefer, you can tie it around your back in a loose knot where it's just draped. But I don't need to have it synced in because it works just fine. This is not going to wrap around my body. Um, I will say if I got a 3X, it will probably just overlap a little bit, which would be great because you could wear it, you know, like this. But the power of having it open is you have a visual line from here all the way down your body and that elongates your figure so that really makes a difference um that being said i just like the way it looks it's so cute um remember the little pin tuck detailing um that is just adorable as well um how many times am i gonna say um <laughs> but it's cute i just think it's so cute you guys so how i will style this this is a white t-shirt from Target. It's actually from the men's department from a brand called Goodfellows. 
they have some dope t-shirts and when you're plus size um if you get like an extra extra large or extra large it get, get, has enough room it gives you that relaxed fit without um a loss of structure because sometimes when you're looking for t-shirts in the plus size arena you have to compromise fit for fabric and all that good stuff so this is a sturdy cotton tee nothing too sturdy but you know it's soft um, it's soft enough to be a soft tee, but nothing like a Hanes t-shirt, if that makes any sense. But it's not that loosey-goosey fabric either. So I like that. I did a French tuck. Um, these jeans are from, actually, these jeans are Target as well. Um, ripped jeans. They're from the plus size department. I want to say they're Ava and Viv. Um, I'm going to, oh, the shoes are from Bar 3. It's one of the first posts you'll see on my, um, Macy's page, but they're the Bar 3 shoes. Woven white with the wooden heel. These shoes are so dope, you guys. The heel is low. I know some people do not like low heels. Well, guess what? Pass it to me because I'll wear them. I don't do high, high heels anymore. Um, I, I do them occasionally, but not, it's not an everyday thing for me. Like, I feel like I can wear this shopping. I can wear this to brunch. I can wear this to grab coffee and be straight. Um, I didn't put any earrings on, but I will probably literally keep it simple. Maybe a hoop. Or a stud. Um, I did throw these beads on. These were a gift from my niece. Hey, Shamir, if you're looking at this. Um, these were a gift from my niece. I don't... Oh, I got this from Marshalls. It had a charm on it, but the charm came off and I never reattached it. But they're just... I want to say they're a gate. Beads. But it, I feel like it went with the whole vibe. Um, I would probably still put on a shade like this. And I think, looking in the thing, yep, that's cute. It still gives that casual vibe. Um, if you wanted to keep the earthy route, um, you could keep these shoes on, of course. And you could do a maybe a straw bag. That would be dope with this. Um, or and maybe a tortoise shell shade. That will keep it down. Or, I mean, like right now, shades come in every variation. So you probably find a pair of shades that's a little bit more lighter or in the tone that you want. Um, I keep my shades simple because I have a prescription pair that I reach for like every day. These are for like stunting for the gram. These are for like if I'm on the beach and I want to look cute. Um, but I am now in a point in my life where contacts are not working with me. So I will probably be purchasing a pair of higher end shades from like Macy's or whatnot if I can find a good deal. And I probably will replace the lenses with prescription because comfort, I mean comfort y'all, comfort. Um, there's no need in going through life just uh so um anyway i have an italian handbag um the brand is Utati. um i bought this from marshall's years ago this is one of my favorite italian handbags it does remind you of the alba is it the alba bag from louis vuitton when i bought it i was not even in well i was into louis vuitton but i knew the silhouettes that were popping which was the speedy at the time and the never full like those are your two Louis that you look for but this I have bought prior to that um really cute and it has a long track if you want to but I love the fact that it pulls the green out of the jacket I just wanted that pop with this outfit so yeah that's it oh you can actually use this bag this is from Target and I thought it would be another good pop the only reason I didn't use it is because the shoes are bright white and this is a taupey a grayish taupey color um which you could because you don't have to be matchy matchy but um i just thought the green would pop with this so um i'm gonna just model this for a few and let's let you see it and yeah here we go Okay, you guys, thank you for watching again. Let me know what you think about this piece. Um, I know there was a couple, there were a couple more pieces to this collection. I know there was a cute little blouse. It's in my favorites. I might buy it or not, but it's the same print. You know how you like, okay, 
do I need the same print of the brows and this? But you know what? That might be a whole vibe. Whew. Anyway, um, I'm hoping I'm going to lose a little weight because I'm on a little weight loss journey. So if my arms snatch up a bit, I don't think I'm taking this back. Like, I'm just going to wait till I can fit into it a little better in the arm area because this is a cute piece. Like, it screams. I like things to scream money, so you're going to hear this a lot. It screams money. Okay, you guys, so this is like my little filming ending because, like I said at the beginning, I am sort of kind of like making one long video and making three short videos to go onto my Macy's platform. So, yeah, just let me know what you thought about the pieces that I got in this kind of a little haul, the haul portion of the video, which is what you're seeing. Um, just let me know what you think. This was extremely fun to shoot. I loved all the pieces that I got from Macy's. Um, yeah, this is so exciting, period. So cute, so exciting. Oh my God. <laughs> anyway, I'm being silly. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Or if you're watching this on whatever platform, make sure you go into the YouTube app and subscribe. Um, it's been a so dope world in my channel. Like, these two months have been amazing. Like, I love y'all. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> That's all I can say. But yeah, that's it. And I will talk to you later and see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye.